The Viceroy down here in South <laughs> Florida, guys, they are dark brown. Good news. It looks like there's a hackberry butterfly in that trap. It means 99% <laughs> chance. <laughs> All right, folks, David Fine here from Keys Moths. Lorenzo and Sophie and I, they're doing, I don't know what it is that they're doing. They don't know what they're doing either. They're doing some kind of like patty cakes thing. <laughs> patty cakes in the woods. Here we go, guys. We are coming back to check our uh, bait traps that Lorenzo and I hung with Robert Berger a couple days back. And guys, we've got six bait traps that we're going to survey and see what comes. We're hoping to find some tawny emperors or... Uh, some hackberry butterflies, guys, or question marks or something. So, guys, we're going to find out what we get. Uh, we get some stuff in this video, so uh, check it out. And so, like, like the video and subscribe, and let me know if you learn anything. And we're going to continue to try and put out good videos. Sorry, I'm sweaty because it's like 100 degrees, and we're out here in the middle of the woods, and we're working. Tired. Yeah, tired. Guys, let's get to the video. You guys looking for alligators? Yes. Yeah. Oh. So, have you seen any alligators? Um, are you having a hard time? Yeah. Oh, there's one. There's one. What? I really sad. All right. Kids are looking for alligators. I see them in Florida. Yeah. There's one. What? Yep. Yeah, all the time. So, yeah. how come you don't see them? Like, there's a big one right up here. What? Yeah, look at big it. one swimming. Big one oh. swimming. Oh. Big one. Big fatty. All right, guys, we are coming out to where our traps are and uh, check out all the sugar cane, Sophie. Wow. Look at all that sugar. Look That's, at all those chickens. Look at all the sugar. That walk is so weird. <laughs> uh, actually, guys, we have permission in this landowner. So we are going to go check our traps. We've got permission. Oh, I see. I see bugs. I see bugs. All right. Well, there's Robert's beetle trap. I don't know if I should check that or not. I don't know how to check it. Be careful. There's metal stuff. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Don't, don't touch it. Yeah. Let me check his wine. Let me check his wine trap. Well, Robert's wine trap has, I see one beetle in there, but I can't imagine sifting through that to get that one beetle. All right, yeah. trap number one. Lorenzo. Oh yes, yes, look at that. Look I that. see, well, I see a Viceroy. I see a viceroy. I see a mocus moth. It's a viceroy. Like a moth? That's a beautiful viceroy. All right, so let me. Uh, Are those common? Here's what you're gonna do. Can you lower this trap for me? Are those common? Very gently, so you don't disturb them too much. Are those common, Dad? Uh, viceroys are fairly common. That's not what we're here for. So but but there's there's common? actually insects in the trap this time, guys. Just, just lower it nice and nice and slow, and then tie it. Come on, a little bit more. Tie it right there, right there, right there, right there. Okay, guys, right there. I don't know how you want me to tie it. Just, just tie, yeah, just tie tie a little square knot. It doesn't need to be anything special. Okay. All right. So one thing for sure, the bait is drying out big time okay and when i'm looking at the top of this trap i'm seeing there's some wasps there's a beautiful viceroy butterfly here let me see if i can get get this guy no, i'm sorry there's a beautiful viceroy butterfly here Look at that big fat wasp. Yeah, there's some there's some big wasps. Right there, 
There is some big wasps next. Yes, there's some big wasps. Uh, we got some mocus butter, uh, mocus moths, which are mocus pocus. And we've got a big oxidia. Uh, that's a geometric moth. But guys, other than that, only one butterfly and none of the desired species. So, trap number one, we're gonna have to add water to that for sure. Yeah. Probably probably a little bit of uh, a little bit of bait. So we bait? we've got some stuff, yes. Alright guys, so Viceroy, let's see. All right, guys, this is a male viceroy. The viceroy is down here in South Florida. It looks like a monarch. Well, it kind of does look like a monarch. The viceroy's down here in South Florida, though, have a lot darker brown coloration than the ones in the rest of the United States. Because down here, they mimic a butterfly that's a lot more common than the monarch. They actually mimic the queen, which is a darker brown coloration. So, um, yeah. But queen a queen butterfly is in the same family as the monarch so he's free to go mr viceroy you're free to go whenever you want the beer. uh yeah he's he's probably a, got a little bit of uh, alcohol drunkiosity ouch just got goes there? okay check this viceroy Everybody, out guys why are you so drunk the Viceroy down here in South <laughs> Florida, guys, they are dark brown. Sophie, check this out. <laughs> the Viceroy down here in South Florida. I just my ankle really bad. No, don't do that. Viceroy's down here in South Florida, guys. They are darker brown, and they actually mimic the queen butterfly instead of the monarch because queens in South Florida are much more common. And so... The queens have a darker brown coloration and are toxic, and the viceroys mimic them. Isn't he cool? He looks like a monarch. He kind of does like a... Well, monarchs are a lot more orange in there, right? No, but the design. Huh? The design looks, the design looks like a monarch. Monarchs yeah. are bigger than that. Monarchs are a little bit bigger, but it is the same size you as a, a queen. You have a, you have a big mosquito, I think. Okay. <laughs> well, let's, let's see if he'll fly. There, there he oh. goes. Bye-bye. All right, Mr. Viceroy. All right, butterfly one. He's butterfly so species awesome. one. The problem is, guys, we were hoping to get some butterflies from this Celtus stuff. And zero so far. So that's kind of uh, a little disappointing in trap one. So let me see what else we got in here. Mocha butterfly. Okay. All right, guys. Here's another. Here's a cool moth. This is um. This is an oxidia. It's a geometric moth, and they're they're a species that is very highly variable. So the colorations on the wings can be light, really light. It can be really dark. It can be gray. It can be brown. It can be rust colored. There's they're highly variable. And it, it's a pretty cool moth. There he goes. So, all right, guys. What we're going to do is we're just going to add some water to this. Oh, actually, there's another one. Here's a cool one. That is a Zale. Is, is he going to stop flying? These, uh... Yeah. No. These mocus moths feed on like, I think they feed on ragweed. And they're very, 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 very common here in South Florida. So, um, so we're gonna let some of these other insects go, but we did not see any of the desired um, insects in our trap. Okay. I wanna see what this bait looks like underneath.
it's still wet inside, so it's not completely dried out. I'm really surprised there's not more of the good stuff, but it definitely needs water for sure. All right, we're gonna need to add more stuff in there for sure. All right, we'll leave this down for now. Go check our second trap. All right, guys, here's trap number two. And good news, we've got, well, there's another butterfly in there, but it is still not the one that I'm after. It looks like we've got a red admiral in the trap, but still not the one I'm after. Here, yeah, let's, let's lower it. Yep. Same thing. All right, guys. <laughs> let's film what we got in here. Now, in this trap, we've got a number of different noctuids. We've got some zales. And the zales are really cool. I mean, like, this guy's got real bright green. I'll have to identify them later. This one's a little bit more brown. Here's a mocha species. Look at the colors on this Zali right here. Getting chewed. All right, another one. Look at that thing. All right, and then there's the Red Admiral. So the Red Admiral, this is the only butterfly in this trap. So this Red Admiral is a common butterfly. Um, I wonder if it's a male or female. Let's see if it'll let me. Let's see. Okay. Red Admiral is, I believe this is also a male. So we've got two butterfly species. This is a Red Admiral, uh, Vanessa Atalanta. And I'm really hoping to get some female specimens so I can get eggs. But so far, I'm just gonna let her go, him go. It's a cool bug. Bye, bye. There he goes. All right, butterfly number two is gone. Now I'm gonna try and stir this, stir this up a little bit. This one looks nice and nice and moist. Let's see. Yeah, so guys, this the bait's good. I mean, it's it's nice and moist. It's got it could use some more water, but this is uh, what happens when bait is left here for four days or so. It starts to get like this crusty, dry stuff on the top. But what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to add some water and probably add more fruit to each one of the traps um and we'll probably just leave this little stick there because we're going to need to continue to stir it all right we'll go get some more bait and add to this when we return all right guys so check out all that sugar sophia i think i'm gonna eat it in like the next week yeah it's a lot of sugar isn't it yeah i'm gonna eat all of it yeah so i mean like what do you think about just how, how much sugar there is out here. And uh, you guys, this sugar gets farmed and shipped all over the place. And Florida is one of main, Florida's main crops is sugar. So okay. it's a huge, huge industry in, down here in South Florida. But look at it all, man. It's, it's just pretty, pretty. miles and miles and miles and miles of sugar, sugar cane. All right, guys, let's go check our next traps. All right, let's see. We're coming up on trap number three. This is Robert's trap. Oh, ready dagger wing. There's one thing. Oh, it landed on Dude, the Dude, he landed board. right on my head. Well, that was cool. All right, uh, here, give me this. Go ahead and uh, lower, you wanna lower that trap? Uh, Where's the string? Right there. Go get them. There's one bug in here, guys, that I wanna show you, which is a really cool bug. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you right now. 
a moth that I, I would really like for it to, to chill. But this is a sphinx moth called the Nessus Sphinx. Oh, he chilled. Can I, no, he's not chilling. It's a day flying, oh, he's gonna get out. Nope, it's all right. Okay. All right, this is the Nessus Sphinx and it's a day flying moth and it flies kind of like a bumblebee or a hummingbird. And really cool, it's got the yellow bands on the abdomen. It's got a, like a brick red hind wing and they are super, super cool. Uh, they feed on grape and they're actually very common in here. I was surprised that we don't have more of them in the trap so far, but here's one, so. All right, so Nessa Sphinx, I'm gonna release him as soon as he finds, there, there he goes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Nessa Sphinx. All right, so, uh, so far the traps are uh, not yielding the number of stuff that I would hope for. We've got, uh, we've got what? One Viceroy, one Red Admiral, some Zali Maws, some Mocus Maws, and a Sphinx. All right, ready, Lorenzo? Yeah. Lift. Keep going. Lift. Come on, Lorenzo. Come on, lift. Why is it so hard? A little bit more. Okay, stop. Now tie it around. All right, we're going to run these bait traps for a little bit longer and see if they just need a little bit more time. Right there, bud. All right, Sophie, lead, lead the way here. All right. We are going to our next trap, which is right, right there. Look. See it? No. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, I'm sweating. Oh, yeah. Wet pants. Sweat. Sweat pants. Okay, guys. There's some stuff, but it hasn't been the most fruitful so far. And... Yeah, you sure did. All right. All right, guys. They're literally are no insects in this trap. Here, just, let's just leave it up. Well, I need to put more fruit in it. There's... I don't know. There's like nothing in this one. At all. That's disappointing. It's very disappointing. There's a ruddy dagger wing. Do you want to eat a bait? And get drunk? Yeah. Well, let's put some more fruit in it. All right, after a fourth trap had almost nothing in it, it's time to come and see our last two traps. These ones are a little bit more. Yeah, there is poison ivy, that's why. Oh. Go ahead. Dad, I think this is the day. Or the day that what? I get poisoned. Oop, well, you shouldn't. Watch where you're stepping. This one's a little bit more difficult to get to. It's going through this, literally this hackberry nursery. Very pretty area. What, what are you looking at? Yeah, this is a pretty area. Okay, yeah. Well, guys, good news. It looks like there's a hackberry butterfly in that trap. Really? Yep, right there. Right there. Oh, 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 nice. It's a male, looks like a male tawny emperor. Not the female we're looking for. It is, but it's, it's a male tawny emperor. Okay, let's see. All right, Lorenzo, you're going to lower it for me? Yeah. Be, try not to. Okay, guys, look at that. Finally got a Tawny Emperor in a trap. He happy? Well, that's not going to help me because I, I need a female in order to do the, the breeding project. There might project. be a female over there. 
There might be. You never know. You never know. But at least there's one, and we'll be able to show everybody what a Tony Emperor looks like. Whoa. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Sophie's dropping the trap. Okay, now tie there's it. There's two. Oh, okay. there is two. Oh, that's, a, that's a female question mark right there. <gasps> I see okay, it. now. It's a big old wasp. It's okay. Here. Chase. Sophie? That one's fine. That this is a question mark. That's fine. And you can see the little. I don't see here, it here let me show yet. you. All right, I'll show you. On the hind wing, there's this little silver marking oh, it's that so looks tiny. like a question mark. It does look like a question mark. It's so tiny, yep. though. Okay, so that's a that's a female question mark. So that's going to be butterfly there's number three. one. Butterflies. Well, that's a moth. Hey, All buddy. right, so let's let's do this. Let's unzip. And I will. Mom, what is that? He's dead. Right. I know what it is, Dad. What? Look. The reason why we're not having any luck is because, look, right here. What? No, that's not it. There's a dead bug right there. Okay. And, and, a, and, 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 a great big old wasp here. Lorenzo, do you feel like he's a friend or what? Yeah, he'll see me. He's right a friend. There. And then we've got a Zale here. But you know what? Let me do a... All right, I'm inside of here now. I've got this big wasp. I, I, I'm hoping that this male Tawny Emperor will slow down so that I can get some a little bit of video of him. Slow your rolls, Sophie. All right, so if he's not going to cooperate... Holy cow, that was a big bug. Whoa! Whoa, what was that? You know what that is? It went away. That was a sphinx moth. That was a black one. A black sphinx moth coming in for the bait. All right, so we've got yeah. zebra. We've got a zebra flying here. Zebras, guys, heliconians do not have want anything to do with fruit bait. So as much as this zebra is floating around here, it might look like he's interested. He's probably just taking, a, taking a leisurely stroll. Serious. Yeah, so uh, the flash is on. They're going All right. All right, you can, <laughs> don't stand right next to the fruit, dude. Well, where do you want me to stand? <laughs> All right, guys, here's a tawny emperor. The males down here in Florida have... The, the females are actually like twice the size of the males. Wow. So they're really super big. Here's a Z Zale. But other than the tawny, the Zale, and this question mark... There's nothing in this trap. There's a lot in this trap. No, there's a, a couple things in this trap. But... It's one of the things... Who's helping? helping? Look at that. All right, guys. So this is the Tawny Emperor Astrocampa Clayton Flora, the South Florida subspecies of the Tawny Emperor. This is a male. Females are about twice the size and have a much different wing shape. They're a lot more a rounded, uh, rounded wing shape. Um... They're, they're cool. They got little green legs and green proboscis, little green tips to their antenna. And they've got this nice purple sheen on their hind wing when they're fresh. So, <laughs> what yep. do they call that? Tawny. Tawny Emperor? Tawny is a word that means. I'm going to let him go. See. Hold still. Hold still. Well, what if see we if get he, a female? Well, you don't need a male and a nope, female? That if you see a female. No, learn to leave her. No, just leave him. Just if hand. you see a female in a trap, that means 99% chance. <laughs> oh, come on. All right, so Tawny Emperor, he's gone and flying away, and he just landed right there. But now, the next one is, it's let's get our flight. let's get our question mark and make sure well, we can't let her go. that it is indeed a female. Let me see. No, it's, it's a male. Okay, guys, it's, it's another little. male. You, we want little butterflies. All right, guys, question mark. The reason they call it a question mark, it's for this little silver marking on the hind wing Are right here. Are you kidding me? Comment down below if you believe that looks like a question mark, that little silver like, marking. Zoom out, look how small it is. It is very, very small, yeah. So, there's a, a relative of this butterfly is called the comma. <laughs> yeah, and the comma has that 
that first one that's over to the left without the little dot. So because this one has a dot, they call it a question mark. So the next one is gonna be a colon. Whoa. Colon? Like a colon colon? No, like a colon. Right, Sylvia. Like a semicolon. That's Lorenzo's one. All right. Lorenzo, I'm yeah. going to put the question mark on you. Oh, see what yeah. happens. Is he's he pretty old. Is he dead? Oh, oh dude, he's not dead. There he goes. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He just flew away. Oh. Let me yeah. see if I... I hold hold, hold the trap, Sylvia. Okay. okay. Question mark, guys, that we just let go. He is just right there. All right. So we've got zebras everywhere here. We've got, I saw a southern white, um, but it's really not the, like the most productive situation here, guys. We're gonna add some more fruit to this and put a little bit more water in it. Hopefully we do a little bit better in the next round, but golly, this has been tough. This is perfect, perfect habitat. The host plants everywhere. All these little shrubs here are all baby Celtus trees. Are you so sure they like the fruit? I'm positive they like the fruit. Maybe they don't like our fruit. Maybe they're, maybe we got our stinky paws in it for some reason and they don't like it, I don't know. But we're gonna add some fruit. Lorenzo's cutting more bait and he's gonna add it to the stuff that we already have made and see if we can come back in a couple days and get some more and see if we can find something else, so. What? Okay, we put we added an extra we added an extra apple and an extra banana. It's and Lorenzo is pouring a little bit more water. I'll tell you when to stop. You just want to get it, <laughs> enough moisture and so it doesn't dry out. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay, good. Put the cap on. We need we need that to last us. Alright. Now we are going to zip it. Alright, Sophie, pull. Go, pull more. Can I tie the knot? Yes, Lorenzo can tie the knot if he wants. Oh, pull. Good. No, you got to keep it tight. Make a loop. Go Put through. It in. Okay. Uh, and then around it. around this one, around the main line. Around the main line. And, and go put through. Back through. Yep. The other line. Boom. Oh. Okay. Now I, I like to put this through that loop. Whoa. Hold on a second. Okay. Whoa, yep. Lorenzo just got a mouthful of spider. That's awesome. He just got a mouthful of spider. Okay. Lorenzo's going to lead the way to our next trap, guys. Up ahead. Up ahead. Let me see it. Okay. Okay. Last one, guys. Will there be anything that helps our project? <laughs> our breeding project. It doesn't look like it. Oh my gosh. It looks like there's like nothing. Oh wow. Here, let, here, give me that. Lower that bad boy. Maybe there's something hiding up in there. Doesn't look like it, guys. It doesn't look very good. Well, that last one was the best one. Right? Yeah. You okay? You a little itchy? the first or the last, like, really bad. Oh, you're filming. filming. <laughs> okay. So, guys, that literally wraps it up. We have six traps out. We went, we looked, uh, and we, we found one tawny emperor, which was cool, a male. One question mark. One red admiral. One viceroy. All males. And we found a few moths. We saw the Nessus Sphinx, which was pretty cool. And uh, obviously you can see that all the butterflies and stuff that we've caught in our traps were released unharmed. Uh, really what we're after, guys, is we're after some really neat beetles that fly in these woods during this time of year. And we're after, I would love to get some female butterflies to try and get a couple eggs out of so I can show you guys the life cycles of these butterflies. But um, none of that showed up this time. So we added some bait to the traps. We are gonna come back in three or four more days and try it again. And we're just gonna keep going until we figure out what we need to figure out. And so it could be, guys, that it's been dry. Uh, sorry, I'm not dry, I'm sweating like a pig. Uh, it could be that we, it's been dry, there hasn't been a lot of rain, but the, the weather pattern is starting to change now in South Florida. 
and it's going to start raining soon. So maybe that's what's needed in order to get some of these butterflies to really start popping out and emerging. So I don't know. We're going to, we're trying it out. We tried it in May and it was a complete bust, complete bust. So this is like first week of June, first and second week of June, and we'll give it another shot. So guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Sorry about the background noise. There's literally semi trucks blasting through right there. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for notifications because uh, we want you to get notified when we put out a new video so that you don't miss any of our Keys Moths butterfly moth action. So, kids, you have fun? Yeah. Kind of? Yes. Sort of? Yeah. There's a lot of mosquitoes. A lot of mosquitoes, Sophie says. All right, guys, we're going to go and get some something to eat and have some fun. There's a zebra. All right, guys, enjoy South Florida. Take care. Well, Sophie? That's so pretty. Oh, whoa. That's so pretty. What do you think of Lake Okeechobee? It's really pretty. Did you expect that lake to look like that? No, it looks like the ocean. It looks like the ocean, right? It does. That's a big lake. By far the biggest lake in Florida, guys. Yeah. Cool beans, yo. Yeah. Lake Okeechobee. Oh, look. This bird has a snake. <gasps> look, 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 look. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. Let me see if I can get a little closer. Dang. Oh. Or is it Seven. a, or wait. That's a lizard. Wait, what is that? That bird just flew away with a snake. Cool.